Our next speaker, last but not least, Mrs. Gunai Faizaiva. Mrs. Gunai, lecture in Israel studies of international relation and regional studies department at the Azerbaijan University of Languages. Her research, her research focuses on Israeli society, Israeli history, and foreign policy. Her PhD thesis is on attitude toward conflicts in the South Kafkaz in Israeli historiography and public opinion. Ms. Gonai, 15 minutes. Shalom lekulam lekulam. Hello everyone. Welcome to our university. But I will speak in Azeri. My topic is as follows: key mainstreams for military and political cooperation between Azerbaijan and the State of Israel after the Second Karabakh War. In my presentation, I would like to uh, stress the key topics. First, uh, I would like to cover strategic diplomatic relations in bilateral cooperation and today all speakers shared a lot of information. I don't want to make a deep uh, recourse because I believe that everyone is more well uh, aware. Then I would like to speak about the uh, implications of Azerbaijani Israeli strategic cooperation. Here I would like to grab your attention about Iran's reaction to Azerbaijani Israeli relations. Secondly, I would like to speak about the so called uh, triangle between. Uh, Azerbaijan, Turkey, and Israel with deep uh, development arrangements. And finally, the final the story is the opening of Azerbaijani embassy in the city of Tel Aviv. After the collapse of the Soviet Union in South Caucasus, new stage emerged and was a chance for the expansion of international relations of Israel in 1992. After regaining independence, Azerbaijan launched multidirectional cooperation with uh, Israel. And the key factors of bilateral relations were identified during the official visits. Uh, those social forces play a crucial role. Secondly, these strategic diplomatic relations were laid back during the presidency of Haider Aliyev when the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu paid a visit to Baku and they together observed the sunset in the city. Then, next slide. As we know, the onward dynamics uh, developed after 1997. It was clearly understood why, because of the uh, developments in the region. Next slide. Hader Aliyev's contribution on a mainstream said in Israeli Azerbaijan relations were followed up by actual President Ilham Aliyev in his foreign policy. Relations between Azerbaijan and the State of Israel are explicitly based on the friendships and cooperation and doesn't cover only military industry but also based on our historical ties. Jewish communities residing in the country is another weird example and the number of the Jewish people here accounts for 30,000 and that means the biggest uh, um, Jewish population in proportion to the entire population in uh, Muslim and all Muslim countries and I would 
believe that you heard this uh, statement many times today in Azerbaijan we never occurred that any anti-Semitism acts uh, Israel, as for the military cooperation and armament sales between Israel and Azerbaijan, I would like to say that bilateral cooperation is not confined with this area only. Quite naturally, in Israel provides innovation and breakthrough technologies for raising military capacity of our country. Israel's experts um, play a crucial role in this regard when it comes to armament and raising capacity. It's a big contribution to the military potential of Azerbaijan. Cooperation in the military industry between Azerbaijan and Israel led to new mainstreams in military industry development in Azerbaijan, and we uh, witnessed it during the 44-day war in 2020, when innovative armament by Israel was used in that war. Another factor is related to Iran. For many years, Iran was a destructive factor in relations between Azerbaijan and the State of Israel. We spotted many times in bilateral relations. We may check it uh, in a wider context in Iran, Armenia, and Azerbaijan-Israel context. During the war, we witnessed that Iran permanently supported uh, Armenia and provided uh, armament, but also played a role a transit country for delivery of armament from Russia to Armenia. What is more, during the war time, uh, Israel supported Azerbaijan and then that uh, provoked a more positive attitude of uh, Iran based Azerbaijani toward Israelis and Israel. Besides, in the region, Iran, so, sorry, Azerbaijan and Israel together are combating terrorist activities of Iran and Armenia. Uh, the outcome of this war, I also could say that the biggest impact was provoked by joint support by Israel and Turkish writers and experts. It also helped deepening relations between Turkey and Israel, uh, and the crisis between both parties were overcome. Finally, I'd like to say that uh, the key outcome of the war or key implication of the war was the opening of official embassy of Azerbaijan to Israel. Finally, after 30 years of establishment of diplomatic relations and afterwards uh, reciprocal visits were paid, we could say about uh, uh, Isaac Herzog's uh, official visit and the visit by Eli Cohen. In conclusion, I would like to share some data points with you. As for the Key conclusions of uh, Israeli Azerbaijan relations after war, I would say that uh, in critical issues, Israel and Azerbaijan uh, act together, especially when it comes to targeting uh, Iranian and Armenian activities on proliferation of terrorism. Then, Israel sees Azerbaijan as a reliable partner in peace and security. What is more, 
Israel keeps developing uh, air defense activities and shares some breakthrough technologies with uh, Azerbaijan. Iran's relation to neighboring countries is based on threats. Uh, therefore, Israel-Azerbaijan relations, in contrast, promote universal peace and security. Hopefully, our relations will develop in the future. Thank you.